everyone i welcome you all to my channel wins academy for competitive exams in this video we are going to see the maxwell's equation in electromagnetic fields our learning objectives are maxwell's equations and some problems that are asked in the competitive exams first let us see some introduction about maxwell's equations Maxwell's equations are set of four equations that describe how electric and magnetic fields propagate, interact and how they are influenced by the objects. So there are four Maxwell's equations. Each Maxwell's equation uses a particular law. So first Maxwell's equation, it uses Gauss law for electric field. Second Maxwell's equation uses Gauss law for magnetic field. Third Maxwell's equation uses Faraday's law and fourth Maxwell's equation uses Ampere's law. First, we are going to see Maxwell's equation 1. Each Maxwell's equation can be written in integral form and differential form. Now, this equation is based on Gauss law for electric field. So, according to Gauss law, the total electric flux passing through any closed surface is equal to the total charge enclosed. So, surface integral of d dot ds is equal to total charge enclosed. Here, double integral means it is surface integral. Then, we have to remember the formula for volume charge density. Volume charge density is denoted by rho v. So, rho v is equal to charge divided by volume. So, this can be written as charge is equal to rho v into volume. Therefore, surface integral of d dot ds is equal to volume integral of rho v dv. This is the integral form of Maxwell's equation 1. Next, we are going to write in differential form. So, by applying Stokes theorem or divergence theorem, we will be getting the differential form. Here, d dot ds. So, we can write del dot d. That is equal to rho v. So, divergence of d is equal to rho v. This is the differential form of Maxwell's equation 1. Next, Maxwell's equation 2. This is based on Gauss law for magnetic field. So, according to this, the total magnetic flux through any closed surface is equal to 0. So, surface integral of b dot ds is equal to 0. Already we have seen this law. So, this is the integral form of Maxwell's equation 2 and differential form is del dot b is equal to 0. So, this is the differential form. So, next Maxwell's equation 3. Maxwell's equation 3 is based on ampere circuital law. So, according to ampere circuital law, line integral of h dot dl is equal to total current enclosed. The current density can be given by the formula current divided by area. So, we can write total current enclosed is equal to surface integral of j dot ds. Here, j is the current density and integral ds is the area. So, with this we can write del cross h is equal to j plus jd. Here, jd is nothing but dou d by dou t. That is displacement current density. J is the current density and JD is the displacement current density. So, del cross H is equal to J plus dou D by dou T is the differential form of Maxwell's equation 3. Then, integral form. So, integral H dot DL is equal to surface integral of J plus dou D by dou T into DS. This is the integral form of Maxwell's equation 3. So, next, Maxwell's equation 4. This is based on Faraday's law. The electromotive force around a closed path is equal to the negative of the integral of the rate of change of magnetic flux density over the surface bounded by the closed path. That is, according to Faraday's law, V EMF is equal to minus d phi by dt. So, integral form is written as integral surface integral of del cross e into ds is equal to minus surface integral of dou b by dou t. Differential form can be written as del cross e is equal to minus dou b by dou t. So, first problem. The Maxwell's equation del cross h is equal to j plus dou d by dou t is based on 
So from this itself we have to understand J plus dou D by dou T. This is current density. J is the current density plus dou D by dou T. So this is based on Ampere's law. So option A is the right answer. Next problem. Consider the following three equations. Del cross E equal to minus dou B by dou T. Del cross H is equal to J plus dou D by dou T. Del cross B equal to 0. Which of the following appears in Maxwell's equation? So, let us analyze the first equation. Del cross E equal to minus dou B by dou T. So, this is based on Faraday's law. So, this is also a Maxwell's equation. Then, second equation. Del cross H is equal to J plus dou D by dou T. So, this is based on Ampere's law because J is the current density. So, this is also one of the Maxwell's equation. Then the last one, del cross B equal to 0. So, this is not applicable in Maxwell's equation because we have del dot B equal to 0. So, option B is the right answer. Next problem. Maxwell's equation del cross E equal to minus dou B by dou T is represented as integral form as. So, we have to represent this in integral form. So, we can write this as del cross E. So, del cross E means we can write it as integral E dot dl. Then that is equal to minus dou B by dou T. So, dou by dou T of instead of B, we can write surface integral of B dot ds. So, option B is the right answer. This is the integral form of this equation. This is Maxwell's equation based on Faraday's law. Since we are having minus dou B by dou T, so this is based on Faraday's law. So, next problem. What is the generalized Maxwell's equation? Del cross H is equal to JE plus dou D by dou T for free space. So, for free space, JE is equal to 0. So, we will get del cross H is equal to dou D by dou T. So, option 3 is the right answer. So, next problem. Uh, in the table shown, list 1 and list 2 respectively contain terms appearing on the left hand side and right hand side of Maxwell's equation. Match the left hand side with the corresponding right hand side. So, this is list 1 and this is list 2. So, del dot D, del cross E, del dot B, del cross H. So, already we have seen the four Maxwell's equation. So, first, del dot D. So, this Maxwell's equation is based on Gauss law for electric field. So, del dot D is equal to rho. So, for the first one, the answer is Q. Then, second equation, del cross E. Del cross E is equal to minus dou B by dou T. This is according to the Faraday's law. Then, third, del dot B is equal to 0. So, option B is the right answer. Now, let us summarize all the four laws. So, there are four Maxwell's equation. It is based on four laws. So, first, first equation is based on Gauss law for electric field. So, differential form del dot D equal to rho V and integral form integral over S. That is surface integral of D dot DS is equal to volume integral of rho V dV. Then, second Maxwell's equation, it is based on magnetic field that is Gauss law for magnetic field. So, del dot B equal to 0 then integral form surface integral of B dot DS is equal to 0. Then third Maxwell's equation it is based on Ampere's law. So, del cross H is equal to J plus dou D by dou T. So, line integral of H dot DL is equal to surface integral of J plus dou D by dou T into DS. Then the fourth Maxwell's equation is based on Faraday's law. So, del cross E equal to minus dou B by dou T. So, integral form is integral surface integral of del cross E ds is equal to minus of surface integral of dou B by dou T. Now, we have come to the end of the session. I hope you all understood the Maxwell's equation based on the four laws. If you like this video, kindly subscribe it and click the bell button so that you can receive all my forthcoming videos thank you